Good Evaroon viewer, and welcome to episode 21 of SOTD, the online Premier League train wreck that nobody watches. We kick off week 21 with two more games from week 7, which is when Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II passed away. Our first game saw Crystal Palace host Manchester United at Selhurst Park, where Crystal Palace did the unthinkable and earned a one-all draw. Port Pie met the managers. Vieira! Well, I told you last week that you'd get better, and you did. I mean, a one-all draw isn't really a win, but when compared to your usual loss, I guess it must feel like a win, especially against a team like Manchester United. Am I right? Look, Bay, you are so right. It's an amazing feeling. It's just like a win. We play Newcastle as the weekend. Do you think we can uh, keep going and maybe get all three points? <laughs> well, there's no need to be a dick about it. Six hog! One nil, and you fucked it up. Did you not fancy going above Man City? Scared of heights? Fearful of getting a nosebleed, maybe? Oh, this is not good, and we are not loving these things. An absolute wonder goal from Oli Sheen extra time. I mean, do mind here. About what? Well, uh, do I sign Oli Sheen for his talents, or, or do I tell my players to score more than one fucking goal in 90 minutes? Gary! Our second game from week seven saw the Michaelis Spurs travel to the Etihad in an attempt to play Manchester City at home where all kinds of mad for it crap happened. Pork Pie met the managers. Guardiola! That must have been a very confusing game for your players, as the gameplay was completely different from anything else that Spurs have done this season. Why are you talking about, Morris? Well, Spurs, taking the lead like that. I mean, normally, they're losing the game 2-0 after 45 minutes. So I'm wondering if this is some form of reverse psychology from Antonio Conte. I suppose it kind of threw me a bit, Morris. But the Tottenham way is to lose by two goals. So I told the boys to get out there and score four goals in the second half, like... Right, um, Conte? Ah, uh, Mr. Pogba. I have to say that the Dustin Hoffman School of Football Management is letting you down at Spurs. Dustin Hoffman? The actor? Yes, during the film Rain Man, where he's standing at the Wheel of Fortune saying, It's 20, definitely 20. I, uh, uh do not follow. Well... You're tactically setting up for your team to play for the number 20, as that's what you've done throughout your managerial career. Unfortunately for you, Spurs do not have the players to hit 20, and the Wheel of Fortune gives you a 5, or 19, or 73. I mean, it could give you every number except for 20, yet you still set up and play in exactly the same way, which begs the question, which game in the second half of this season is going to be your trigger game. Uh, you mean the uh, trigger from uh, only fools and horses? No, I mean which game is going to trigger you into losing it mode where you repeatedly punch the side of your head while you scream, it's bad, it's bad, hot water burn baby. You are not funny. And you would know, cause you're fast turning into a joke. Gary? Me, 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 and me, 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 and Maggie HB, me, 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 and Simon Greedall. Who? Shut up! Me, 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 So, uh, we're going to keep those opening credits, are we? Oh, yeah! Loving it like McDonald's. Hmm. Well, piss off to your post then, and someone hit me up with my studio. Okay, thank you. Right then, welcome back to week 21 of the 2022-23 season. Our first game this week saw Graham Potter's Chelsea head up north to play Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool, where Klopp was going to bang on about his chopper, and Potter was no doubt going to ask Klopp exactly how big his jumper is, big boy. However, the game ended in a nil-nil draw, and we don't cover games with no goals on this show. 
So, moving on, Leicester City hosted Brighton, where the unthinkable happened and the game ended in a Desmond. Port Pie met the managers. Oh, uh, ended in a Desmond? What the fuck is a Desmond? Oh, choo choo. Ah, right, gotcha. Okay then, uh, Brenda. What's all this bollocks I'm hearing about your boys actually playing football and scoring goals? Well, dearie, despite trying my hardest, I didn't think the board is going to sack me, which means my 20 million pound payout isn't on the cards, so I might as well go for it and try for a payout next season. Anybody got a number for Lorraine Kelly? Maybe she'd be up for doing Brenda's voice. Okay, uh, Zebedee, the art department is working flat out on your image, so we should have you normalised in a week or two. Um, good game, great goals. Uh, unfortunately for you, Brenda's turned the corner. And although one point isn't as good as three points, it's still better than no points. Yeah, well, onwards and upwards. Gary! Southampton hosted Aston Villa and lost the game 1-0 which meant Unai Emery travelled home with all three points. Pork Pie met the managers. Uh, Nathan Jones, uh, not too sure what to do about you. What do you mean, boy, huh? Well, you're a nice enough fella, and we have sent out feelers to United Agents for Rob Brydon, as well as Sue Terry Voices for Rod Gilbert. Uh, but let's be honest about it. You inherited a club in bad form, you're propping up the league, uh, and you may not be here next month, as I can hear big, fat Sam Allardyce rubbing his belly as his bank manager whistles Dixie. Can you hear it too? Isn't it? Unai Emery! One more game and three more points. You must be loving it. Yeah, what are they, poor boy? I will uh, all wins are good wins, but uh, but I've got to be uh, modest here to don't blow smoke up my own bottom lines. Because let's face it, busy Southampton out there is easier done than said. So if I glow to bed, it, I could be seen as a bit of a bully. It's not me, really, is it? Humility, Mr. Emery. It's refreshing to see a humble manager in the modern game. Yeah, well, I've been to the top and I've also been to the bottom, so I know what it's like about things. Gary! West Ham hosted Everton, and the inevitable is called the inevitable because it's going to happen and there's no getting away from it. Port Pie met the managers. Boys, you beat Everton 2 0. What do you have to say for yourself? Hey, we're back, big man. Did you see whose performance the day? Sucked it to him. The Hammers did some hammering for sure. Oh, get over yourself, man. You beat Everton. Everyone beats Everton. You're one point above the drop zone, one game away from Southampton, and our next game is Newcastle United. This is a dreadful season and a woeful performance. Lamb Poo Poo! Uh, all, all right, Paul Boy. Do you remember when you did that interview with Gary Neville at the bar and the topic of conversation landed on Tottenham Hotspur? And you gloated, saying that you called them three-point lane. Uh, yeah, I, I do. Good, because I've spoken with the other 19 Premier League managers about Everton, and they all say the same thing. Yeah? Uh, well, what are they saying, Paul Pye? So long as you're in charge of the toughest games against Everton will be referred to as six-point park. Yeah, but nah, because that's kind of funny, ain't it? I would say it's more ironic than funny. Probably won't be here for the Arsenal game of the weekend, will I? Think of the payout. Gary! Bournemouth hosted Nottingham Forest and the game ended in a one-all draw. Pork Pie met the managers. O'Neill! You look like Jason Statham. Do you think so? Well, I mean, Statham is good looking, uh, chiselled jawline, rugged, uh, decent pair of eyebrows and uh, virtually bald. Um, so, no, you look nothing like Jason Statham. Uh, good game and a uh, well earned point. Uh, moving on, Cooper, you scored a goal and earned a point. I mean, you're not exactly safe just yet, but you're moving in the right direction. Uh, would you like to come and manage West Ham? Ah ha, ah ha ha ha, no thank you. Gary! Okay, Crystal Palace hosted Newcastle, but the game ended in a nil-nil draw, which we don't cover. So, moving on, our next game saw Manchester City host Wolves, where Pep Guardiola unchained his freak of nature mutant goal machine, who not surprisingly, bagged a hat-trick. Pork Pie met the managers. Pep, yeah, you again. Uh, so, Harland United was let loose on the pitch 
and you grabbed another three points. Have you got anything special planned for the summer after you win this year's title? I'm gonna go on Amazon and buy some Ambrosia custard for me, Carlos. It's uh, why? Cause it goes real good with combo. Hell will freeze over before Noel Gallagher steps in to do your voice. So go back to being Manuel from Forty Towers, Gary. Okay, Leeds hosted Brentford, and we had our third nil-nil draw for this week, which means. There's a third boring game that we don't have to talk about. The penultimate game for this week saw Mikel Arteta's Laughnell host Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. At the Empty Crate Stadium, Laughnell won the game 3-2. Pork Pie met the managers. Arteta! There's no team luckier in the Premier League than Laughnell. I mean... How many more Gunas souls can Beelzebub possibly want? I say, you know, I worked hard to get where we are now. I've made tough decisions relating to the sacking of our top goalscorer, dealing with a documentary crew, and so much more. When are you going to give me the respect that I'm clearly due? I'll give you that respect on whatever day it becomes mathematically impossible for Manchester United or Manchester City to not win the title. I'm not getting any respect this year, am I? No. Moving on. Eric 7.21 Hag. What happened? I mean, you folded against Palace, forgot to take your boy off at 70 minutes, which meant he got carded and couldn't play today. Then fought two for now today, only for yet another killer blow in the dying embers of the game. Don't you want to go second in the league? I think my best uh, but it's not easy. Uh, you know, they do a big club. Uh, Ronaldo was a big player. Uh, I've done what needed to be done. And uh, and uh, the boat is now stable. Uh, so we sail forwards. Well, uh, the boat is stable until it sinks in the harbour before docking. But that's none of my business. Gary! Our final game of the week saw the mighty Spurs and their mightily confused manager travel across London to Fulham where Marco Silva was waiting to say hello with his little friend. Pork Pie met the managers. Oh, Marco! Well, oh, man, cheer up, mate. It's only one game, and things could always be a lot worse, couldn't they? What do you mean, man? You could still be at Everton. Moving on, Conte! Ah, Pork Pie. So you want to help Harry Kane win a trophy at Tottenham, do you? Uh, this is what I am seeing. Yes. Well, then sign a new contract, commit to the club, and change your formation to fit the opponents you're playing on the day, then. Hey, for fun. Gary! Right, then. With week 21 drawing to a close, I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. Fingy, 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 la, la, la. Lampard, what the fuck are you doing? Been sacked, ain't I? Really? Seriously? You mean, it's actually finally happened? All right, my sons. Get the fuck in. Well, leave it out. So what were you doing standing there singing an old Simon and Garfunkel song for? Well, I was waiting for the minions to turn up and take me away, innit? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you sorry bastard. You can't even get the song right, can you? What? It's not Simon and Garfunkel singing The Sound of Silence. It's the Righteous Brothers singing Unchained Melody, as taken from the Patrick Swayze film Ghost. So, are you going to sing it to me while the minions come and take me away to Football Heaven, Paul Pie? Are you fucking mad, fam? You ain't getting shit, blood. Look at ya, you're not coloured in, and that's happened for a reason. I'm not wasting money on colouring you in, because you were never going to last as a Premier League manager. Point proved, case rested, jog on you, ham roll. Right then, I feel good. See you all next week. ta -la. Hey, oh man, uh, where the fuck did everyone go, bro? Uh, I mean, okay, so we lost to Man City, but there's no reason to treat me this way. I'm calling my motherfucking agent. This is bullshit. 
right here. Yeah.